Okay, that's 400 degrees on top of the rocket heater. It stands about four feet, four inches tall. It's got adjustable legs. This is my electric computer fan blowing air into the gravity feed. I'm going to remove it. it. Seems to help with the airflow a little bit. And I'm curious to see how it battles wind gusts. Just a way to have another uh, option of controlling the burn. So this is a version of a rocket heater that I got from Kevin Bacon and Trying Too Hard. They both uh, inspired me a lot. It took me forever to finally get around to it. And this is still in the experimental stage. Now down here is another place to put the fuel feed. This is going to be hot. Hold on a sec. Need a glove. Now, in here, I've got three little potatoes. This is a four by six piece of uh, channel steel, outer diameter, so it's less than that in the inner. And I got three potatoes that are ready to be eaten coming out of there. I've got a grate that I can pull out. It's got an ash, an angled ash feed. So the ashes can fall down and I can drain them. They don't cause a problem with this. And you can see the burn down there. Now I can fuel that up, which I did earlier tonight, and I got over 700 degrees up on top here, which is pretty cool. It's kind of cold out, it's not windy at all, but I'm feeling pretty warm around this relatively small heater. The propane tank is 12 inches in diameter. It's made of two, actually one tallish propane, I mean one big propane tank and one barbecue size uh, propane tank, and I did a Lots of welding. I didn't do the best welds, but that's okay because I just want to show that it doesn't matter that much as long as it's sealed up. I have this connected with metal tape down here, and it seems to be holding up a little bit of drainage coming out of the bottom there, but it's working at the moment. I'm going to make that better later. The paint was smelling a little bit as it was burning a little bit because it was up to over 700 degrees on the top but I'm gonna grind off that paint later and eventually I'll paint it with a high temp black paint now here's the four inch exhaust feed coming out here it's aluminum dryer vent pipe and it's going underneath this door up into a four inch uh, galvanized pipe which is pretty cheap and it's about maybe 10 feet up there let's see you can't really see because it's dark but it's just going straight into the air with no rain cap at the moment I haven't gotten to that part yet but I want to see if I can make a relatively portable heater and see how it does exhausting out under a uh, door or maybe out a window pane. That's what I'm going to try later. But I'm going to I'm going to move it. But it's working pretty well right now, and I'm actually real uh, real excited. This is the third burn that I've had with this, and uh, it's pretty good. I, I like it, 
I want to try another rocket stove using fire brick as a liner because that can handle higher temperatures. It might concentrate the burn more. And uh, there's other good ideas about that. It's just a little expensive for the fire brick, although maybe it could be made as well, which is the other thing that would be cool to try. Here are the uh, adjustable legs. Um, it's just a uh, black pipe with uh, thinner black pipe inside, and I welded some uh, nuts on and put some bolts in. And um, also, the inner fire tube is removable with four bolts, although one of the bolts snapped. But I want to be able to uh, try different, be able to have it be sort of convertible and do different things. Maybe have a wider pipe or a different pipe. Maybe run a copper coil around it for some hot water option. And anyway, it is working and this is going to heat my chaotic open garage so that I can uh, fix a car or two that I need to fix badly. So I'm pretty excited. I don't mind the winter quite so bad. Uh, anyway, it's definitely fun and you learn a lot by using one of these things. Okay, this is Apple's 13 Edible and uh, I'll get better at these videos.